Okay, welcome back to a new to a new episode. Today, a quick one. I will announce at the end who will win the t-shirt giveaway. So you have to stick around for that one. Today I will do a very quick and short tutorial. I will shoot my iPhone with only one flash. Extremely simple, okay? I have my Canon 5D Mark IV. I have a bit strange lens today. It's a tilt shift 90 millimeter Canon, old one. It's probably not that good, but I was thinking that if I tilt a bit, I will get a bit more sharpness, you know, shifting the focus plane. Let's go for that one. And uh, also I would like to show you this iPhone. I don't know if, yeah, you can see them there. I put them on these two wires and it's hanging. It's like floating, yeah? And I put on the background on the iPhone and I, and I flip the logo horizontally so it will look correct in the mirror. And also showing the display with the longer shutter speed plus the flash. We'll see. Like I can take a shot without the flash and it will look like this. Completely black. Darkness. That's what we want. Because now we want to start to build up light. I will put on this guy and I will take a shot. I will shoot straight down. I have a honeycomb grid, 5 degree honeycomb grid to spot the light. I was thinking maybe it will look nice if we just hit this matte surface on the phone and it will look great. You see to the left we have the the shot. To the right, as always, the live view, yeah? But this doesn't look that nice, I would say. And why is that? Well, I think it's because the, the flash is not in the right angle. I'm always telling you, put the light at the same angle. The same angle as the camera, whoosh, then it should be, the light should come from here or be here. So this is the wrong spot. So what I did, I took this old scabby diffusion, savage plastic, translum, heavy weight, and I put it over here because the light needs to be somewhere around here. It should be in the same angle, somewhere around this. Put on the live view. We can turn off the LED light so we see what we're doing, you see. Now we're shooting straight on the phone and now I put this, uh, this diffusion over the spot where I... You see if I move this... Take shot. We will get the, um, the logo will turn white because it's a um, very shiny material. Like plastic or polished something. So it will act like a mirror. So this diffusion will reflect into the Apple logo and the rest of the phone will be like a nice smooth, nice gradient from bright on the top and goes to the dark. Is it that simple today? Yes. If you don't like to have the, I, I love to see the logo clear on this because everything is black and then it's nice that the logo will pop out, yeah? If I will take a shot, if you're holding something black on top of the logo, uh, there will be, you see, like a, you can be like a gradient. And if you're holding it even closer, maybe on this side, it's a bit hard to see. Yeah, you closer you're holding something black, there will be like a sharp line. You can make it like 50-50. But I, I think it looks nicer if we, uh, we will have it like uh, this diffusion. We just fill up the whole logo, and it pops out. If I'm moving it, moving this, actually, we can put on the live view, you see there, live view. If I move this flash, you see the logo. And if we take a shot now, the logo will be totally black. It's like a, the opposite, yeah? Because now this, uh, this diffusion, the spot of the, the light will be over here and it will hit the phone. Maybe you would like to show this iPhone and uh, this text but I don't want to do that but if you would like to do that you can put more even more light and this will be totally black it will be the opposite but I think I prefer the other one live view again so we see where to place I think we should have it if I go too far the logo will be black again so it should be the spot will be 
somewhere maybe around there. Let's try that one. Shot speed 200 again. Take shot. This is nicer. Let's go for that one. I'm thinking about this camera, the lenses. Maybe if I just blocking that part, it will be very dark. But maybe it's good to have, yeah, you see logo now. I'm <laughs> just holding this one randomly and suddenly we get a nice gradient on the logo. And this turns black. Maybe in Photoshop we can have both and see what we like. Well, there's so many options. You just have to decide <laughs> what you like, okay? Now there's emails all the time. Please go away. We will take a shot here. So, we need to go dark. I will fix the curtains. Okay, we will go totally dark. I will even shut off the modeling light and uh, I will also shut off the LED lights. But first, I must set up the camera. We go totally dark and then you can have longer shutter speed. And that means the display will be shown. We open up the shutter for like maybe four seconds, maybe. Aperture is the same. Everything's the same except the shutter speed. We open it up and then the, the display will be shown. Just before the end of four seconds, when the shutter will close, then the flash goes off for the top of the phone. And then the, the areas will be combined, you know, in the shot. Why I'm standing here and looking at the phone is because it's, it needs to be completely still. Because if it's not still, the display will be blurry. So I have to wait for it. But first I can make a test shot. I will shut down. Four seconds. Here we go. And there goes the flash off at the end. What did we get? Yeah, this is the result. You see it's blurry. You see it's still. I, I really need to walk very gentle. Will it ever stop? I don't know. The battery is running out. Shoo. Uh, come on. Freeze. I will take another test shot. Maybe we need longer actually. I think we need like, maybe it should take like six seconds. Increased it to six seconds. The display should be even more bright, yes? Okay. I think the battery is running out. So I will, I will stay and wait. I will take the exactly same shot. Um, and I will also take this one, the other one, with when I'm blocking the, the, the lenses of the camera. So I might make it a bit darker with a light, bit highlight from the, this picture, the last one. We'll see. We cannot wait for this to stop swinging. So, do you know who you are in the comments? Who wanted me to shoot a phone? Yes, it's you, Gustavo. Yes, I know you wanted a Samsung phone, but I only have an iPhone, so I hope it's okay. But this t-shirt, the Sub's Choice t-shirt, a huge one, I will send it to you, okay? So just hook me up, info at botvisan.se, and I will send it to you. So, battery is going out. It's blinking like crazy up there. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was very quick, simple, one flash. So, okay, that's it for today. And thank you all who's subscribing. New subscribers, we just celebrated 1000, but now I think it's like 1400, I don't know. It's like crazy. And uh, it's very, very fun, of course. And uh, like, and if you're not subscribing, subscribe. And uh, okay, see you next time.